welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. Today comes courtesy of my friends over at The Loyal Subjects. This is an early look at their brand new upcoming straight from the IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. Watch out, because now you face the Shredder. And it comes with a limited edition collector card inside the box, but it has that glorious Mateus Santaluco artwork all over the box and on the back side of the box you get a nice photo of the figure you get to read up on where this specific version of the shredder hails from along with the best action best features yada yada you get the idea by now and you get to see everything that this figure comes with inside the box along with the barcode and these should start hitting store shelves within the next month or so give or take. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of mutagen. This is a look at the brand new, straight from the IDW comic book line, the Shredder by the Loyal Subjects. And while I got all you shred heads here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. You get the idea by now. So he comes with a number of extra hands. You have open hands, you have that kind of sort of trigger finger hand, which kind of reminds me of the original Playmates Shredder, especially now using the other hand and kind of posing him out. It's a nice touch, if that's what they're going for. And something I do like, even though they're gummy, the Shredder blades hold their shape but it's nice because that's never something you're gonna have to worry about breaking off. And that applies to each of the hands. And they're all painted nicely. Now, this is a nice touch and something that heavily differentiates it as the IDW Shredder. So you have the Unmasked Shredder, great paint all over this. And it's more of a yelling head, which I appreciate because you have the normal helmeted Shredder head. And then you have an alternate screaming head. And he comes with a bunch of extra weapons as well, like these. Go ahead and tell me what these are down in the description below, but they're blades on top of a stick. And those are cool. But I really like that he comes with a samurai sword. And that's perfectly befitting of this version of the Shredder. And speaking of the Shredder, I gotta give it to the loyal subjects on this one. That's a cool looking Shredder. Great looking action figure and I'm very happy for the little subjects because it looks like they've really figured out their whole piece of the TMNT pie right making these types of characters from the IDW comic book line and the response has been largely positive and I'm having fun with them as well because it's totally different from just the usual sort of the old 80s cartoon, then the movies, and everything else. And between this standard version of Shredder and the Shredder in Hell. Now, I know in the comic book, he's usually darkened. He's got the white eyes right inside the mask. Although, to differentiate it just a little bit more between the one in Hell and the regular version, I would have preferred some pupils or darken around the eyes. The head portrait will actually move and give you a lot of rotation within that bucket helmet head. So for that, I appreciate it. However, keep in mind, and this is underneath the head, so you really don't have to worry about it, but you will see some paint fleckage, that's for sure. The arms will go all the way up. That's a nice change of pace, right? And they will go off to the side. The armor doesn't hinder it. The blades don't hinder anything. He spins. He has bicep swivel. Although, I will tell you this. Right here at the biceps, on this regular version of Shredder, the arms kind of want to slip down a little bit. All you have to do is press them back up. It's easy peasy. But yes, anytime you want to move them, you're going to see that kind of slippage down. Although, there is really nothing in the way of it coming off. In fact, if you wanted to pull the shredder arm off, you'd really have to pull it. But he does have double jointed elbows, which is nice to see. And I like how they've painted it within the joints and the wrappings. It's not weird. Thank you for that. Along with the blades, the gauntlets, the hands that have rotation. With the exception of the bicep swivel, everything is pretty great. You can swap the hands out at your leisure. He does have some issues, let's say, with the upper diaphragm. It basically just spins. It does not crunch. Same thing with the waist. It only goes so far. It doesn't go all the way around. You can kick out pretty high. I definitely dig that. And you can move the legs off to the side with some thigh swivel. 
double jointed knees, which I totally dig. And then down here on the shins and everything else with the armor, that looks good along with some foot articulation up down and it will pivot, but there's no peg holes on the bottom of his feet in case you were wondering. So from the armor to the paint, to the cape, that's really detailed out. Really, I would say the only awkward, weird thing is in the biceps, but that's just a simple fix of popping them back up. So that's really it. It's a pretty darn good shredder, but I like all the accessories that he comes with. I think that this really creates a fun action figure on your shelf, especially now with the articulation, nothing snapped, nothing broke, everything looks updated, and that's why I applaud the loyal subjects here. I think that they're doing a great job in listening to the fans. And of course, with the unhelmeted head, I think that that looks great as well. You really don't need another Shredder figure. That being said, unless you want the Shredder in Hell figure, which you can swap the heads between the two figures. It is the same figure, so you can swap everything, basically. But I like that if you have this head portrait with this helmet in more of the I'm not in Hell version, Hey, that looks pretty great as well. And if you were wondering, how does this shredder stack up to the IDW Turtles by the Loyal Subjects? Well, you can clearly see for yourself. They've listened to the fans and they have made it in scale. So thank you very much again for that. This has been a big turnaround for them this year for 2023. And I wish them well. This is great so far. And if you wanted to see what's come before as to what's come now from Super 7 to Neck Toys to the old Playmates Shredder. And it's not even all the shredders I have in my collection, but we're just going to go with this today. So just to kind of see where he stacks up. And if you wanted to put him with any other TMNT line, I would say he's really just the IDW Loyal Subjects version. Especially when you want to pair him up with other versions of the Ninja Turtles if anything, he could probably go with the Playmates TMNT. He's entirely too small for, let's say, the Super 7. And he's just awkward looking with the Cartoon Turtles, let's just say. So, yes, he's his own thing entirely. So, again, as I've said throughout the video, I'm very happy with what the Loyal Subjects have done here. I think they've found their own little niche of the pizza pie that is TMNT with the IDW Universe. And I'm excited to see what they come out with next. So that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new Shredder figure from the Loyal Subjects' TMNT IDW comic book line. And I told myself, okay, I'm gonna, I collect a lot of Ninja Turtles here. Let's just, let's keep it in certain realms, right? Well, no, they came out with some great sculpts. And in all honesty, this is one of the best, if not the best offering they've had thus far for their best action line everything was pretty solid didn't have anything break all the weapons everything functions correctly minimal paint rub that's a great thing right i think they knocked it out of the park on this shredder i think a lot of fans especially the idw ones will be stoked but you've heard my thoughts and now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything the shredder so i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember yes i'm just waiting down in the comments below for all the shredder references from Marvel vs. Capcom. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.